can we say about the great composer, Glenn Edward Burley? We know that he was a prolific composer, having published more than a hundred works in various genres, including classical, jazz, gospel, many times fusing the three styles together in large suites for choir and orchestra. We know that he saw interaction with small instrumental ensembles, as well as full symphony orchestra, as a tool to encourage the highest performance standards possible and to bring them to small and large communities alike. Concerning this, Glenn said that his ministry celebrates the marvelous richness and cultural diversity found in our great country and around the world. But not only this, we know that his music has been performed around the globe, being performed on every continent in the world, its scope has broadened from the church school to the university conservatory to the classical concert stage and even to the movie industry. Whitney Houston and the Georgia Mass Choir performed one of his pieces, Lay Aside Every Weight, in the Disney movie, The Preacher's Wife. And we know that, but we, mo we know more than that. In fact, we the music directors from various high schools we the composers, we as Ithaca College and the Gospel Music Festival know him as more than that. Because you see, Glenn was not just some great composer who we couldn't touch, but Glenn was our friend. As a friend to directors, we spent time with him at various times and in various places around the country, enjoying his music, his friendship, and his fellowship. As composers, we exchanged ideas, admired each other's compositions, and received from his mentorship. As Ithaca College, we know him as one of the composers, along with Dr. Diane White, who laid the foundation for this festival with their sensitivity to the unique approach of sharing gospel music as an art form in academic settings. Personally, I've known Glenn for 15 years, but it wasn't until about seven years ago when we became good friends. When I heard the news about his passing in December, I had to change my plans. You see, we had scheduled to take a trip together after Christmas, but that trip never happened. So tonight we come to celebrate Glenn the Man. Tonight we come to celebrate Glenn the Composer. Tonight, we come to celebrate Glenn, the friend. In times of sorrow, you were not alone. You knew my number. You called me on the phone. I'm not too busy. I'll take some time. I'll clear my schedule, we'll work it out. I'll try to listen and comprehend. In your darkest hour, you had a friend. When you reached out to me, From my bank of love, I will always share. You took a chance, yes, you did. You risked your pride. You opened up to me. You shared your life. I gained your trust until. You were my friend. And this is what we used to talk about. After the music starts to fade, after the song has gone away, after the crowd has left the room, what do I do? 
After the melody descends, after applause from so-called friends, when the symphony must end, what do I do? Is there a friend who understands me, who will love me and not judge me, who will share? Try. 